been 3D printed bicycles, guns, totally creepy models of your unborn baby, and now presidents, as Barack Obama becomes the first US president to be 3D scanned and printed. Probably less useful than the baby thing. I'm Jen Markham on Buzz 60. The Smithsonian unveiled the first 3D presidential portraits at the White House Maker Fair, portraits that will now become a part of the collection at the National Portrait Gallery. The president was scanned at high resolution, not unlike the way the Smithsonian scans a lot of its artifacts, although it's not clear if Mr. Obama had to squeeze into one of those glass tubes. Since the Smithsonian says the process only took a few minutes and the president seemed to enjoy it, I'm gonna guess no. Although Obama is the first president to be 3D scanned, the institution has already used the technology to create other 3D presidential models, scanning a Lincoln life mask to create this 3D rendering of the 16th president. The Smithsonian says 3D portraits will change the way museum visitors will look at past leaders. Yeah, because now we'll all be thinking, hey, can we 3D print Mr. Lincoln some hair or at least a hat or something? Buzz 60, now you know, pass it on.